Welcome to this episode of Cash and Keys, Mastering the Art of Business and Estate Prosperity hosted by estate and business planning attorney Larry Parman. Mr. Parman is the founder of Parman & Easterday, a law firm that practices exclusively in the areas of estate planning, elder law, and business succession planning. He is the author of The Straight Shooter's Guide to Estate Planning and Economic Dominoes, a review of the economic cycle in the U.S. In these brief sessions, Mr. Parman will share information and insights on estate planning, elder law challenges, and how to successfully transition your business. Plus, there may be a few nuggets on other topics that will entertain and surprise you. Here's Larry Parman. Hello, everyone. Larry Parman here. So, I got some advice the other day about these videos, and I was told I need to make them more fun. So, I'm not sure I'm going to get that done today, <laughs> but I'll try to... I'll try to make them a little more entertaining and hopefully people will open more of them and review them and uh, draw from them a little bit of information that might help. At the risk of repeating myself, I'm gonna talk about the Corporate Transparency Act again one more time and just touch on some high points, maybe even higher than 30,000 feet because this is one of those new laws that on its face could be aggravating Certainly, we're going to have to comply with it, but there's always interesting questions that come from these federal bills, this legislation that come, comes out of Congress. So let me touch on a couple of key points here, and I'm going to read some of this because I want to be sure that, that we're all clear. So it's called the Corporate Transparency Act, and that act stipulates that as of January 1st, 2024, every reporting company must disclose to the Federal Crimes Enforcement Network, sometimes we refer to that as FinCEN, information about the reporting company itself and the beneficial, beneficial owners of that reporting company and for other reporting entities, there are other requirements as well. So, number one, went into effect January 1st, 2024, the intent was to flush out money laundering. Apparently there's so much of this going on that the feds and the large banks are grappling with how to get control of it. But they're in effect asking the owners of privately owned companies, LLCs, family limited partnerships, regular S corps, C corps, and so forth to submit this information. Now, here's what we know. So the first question is, is the entity you own, again, it might be an LLC or a regular corporation, whether it's an S Corp or a C Corp, is that a reporting company? And the answer is yes. There are 23 exceptions to that, mostly large banks, investment companies, and so forth. But for most of us, like myself, my own law firm, it's gonna be a reporting company. My guess is yours will be as well. So then the question is, well, who's a beneficial owner? Well, I own an LLC that owns some farmland. My LLC interest is owned by my trust. That's fairly common and that may fit your situation as well. But here's the issue. The LLC itself is not the beneficial owner. You have to look through that, look through the trust and see who the beneficial owners are of the trust. And anyone that owns 25% or more must comply with this reporting requirement. Or anyone must comply who has what they call substantial control over the reporting company. So then we get into all kinds of questions and issues. Well, what about someone that holds your power of attorney? Do they have substantial control? What about someone who has the right to set the number of board of directors? Do they have control? So there are all kinds of issues here. And another question is, well, who can dispose of assets? So I bring this to your attention again, just to be sure you're aware of it, number one, and to be sure that you contact your law firm, your CPA firm, or you take charge of it yourself and comply with this requirement. So there are all kinds of issues far beyond on what's in the act itself on its face. So again, um, play close attention. And <laughs> I didn't have much fun saying this this morning, but nonetheless, I think it's important information. So just remember a couple of things. Corporate Transparency Act, 
the requirement to file. If your entity was in place before January 1st, 2024, do you have a year to comply? In other words, by the end of the year this year, December 31st, 2024. But if you're creating a new entity, it has to be done within 90 days. Anyway, we're going to put together a report on this. If you have any questions about it, uh, let us know. Larry Parman, signing off. Have a stunning day. Thanks. If you would like to learn more about creating an estate plan for your family, protecting your assets if you have to go into a nursing home, or transitioning your business, call 405-843-6100 or send an email to info at parmalaw.com. That's 405-843-6100 and info at parmalaw.com. Thank you.